Hey everyone, Tony D and Little Joan here with your final video of the evening. We're looking at Dark Web Cicada 3301. The premise of the movie is kind of interesting. Uh, it's about a guy who is he's basically a hacker and a, and a bartender. Uh, this is the wind up to the movie. So one night he's in a bar, they stiff his waitress. And he gets the guy's info, breaks into his computer to give him a virus in revenge for stiffing his waitress. And he ends up unleashing a file called Cicada 3301. Uh, and this somehow shuts off the lights. And by the way, Ronald Funches is in it for some reason. And this is inspired by the PNQA phenomenon. Is that supposed to be QAnon? I, I'm not sure. PNQA? I don't know what that is. <clears throat> anyway, there's some sort of secret society. Um, they're like the, uh, the, the Illuminati's IT department, as they say in the movie, which is kind of interesting. And <clears throat> then the NSA shows up and harasses them, and they're kind of bumbling idiots. Uh, so I guess it's a it's a bit light in that respect, but then he gets into the society somehow, and he and, and Ronald Funches is in it, so you know, I, I guess that makes it kind of a comedy. I mean, Ronald Funches is always funny, um, and then there are all these rich weirdos there. Uh, I don't know this guy Jack Kessie, but he seems familiar, um, and. Uh, these people are holograms, but he ends up going there with his girlfriend, and uh, that's not her, but uh, uh, written and directed by Alan Rick's, Richson, and Joshua Montcalm also helped on the screenplay, I assume. This is coming out <clears throat> March 12th. Break the code March 12th. So, I don't know. It, it looks... Interesting. I like the premise. I don't know if I like the execution. It's a little over the top. Uh, Ronald Funchins, I guess, is the comedic relief in here. And this is a weird scene where there's guys in deer heads and then also in baby costumes and they get into a shootout. I, so is this supposed to be funny? I mean, it's kind of funny. It's kind of ridiculous. Um... If it's supposed to be funny, I'm not laughing. If it's not supposed to be funny, it's just weird, but not in the weird kind of way that should be sort of mildly disturbing if people can get at all your information. So I don't know. Um, I mean, it's definitely got a lot of the elements of something that I would like, you know? Um, so I think the first act would, of course, be him in his life as a bartender and former computer genius. Then he makes the move to get back for the waitress, but that backfires and he downloads the program. Then the second act is him being harassed. He eventually somehow turns the tables or gets some information, and then he goes in against them and his friends sort of join into the fun and but they get quickly get in over their heads and then the NSA is involved and all these other people are involved and then the third act is he probably has to save the girl and he has to recruit Ronald Funches as his only backup I guess and then they go back and try to save her and craziness ensues and he ends up in prison and that's how he starts telling this thing um so I guess, I guess it could be fun. Um, now see, it says here, Dark Web Cicada 3302. Interesting, I'm not sure why that, but it's billed as a sci-fi action movie. I'm not seeing the action. Not seeing enough action. Now I could see it as a sci-fi comedy movie in the way it's rolled out, but not because, I, I mean, I didn't laugh at any. If you wanted people to laugh, you should have let Ronald Funches punch that sucker up. Ronald Funches can write some funny stuff. 
Um, so I'm, I, I have a very mixed feeling about the dark web. This looks like something I would wait, wait to hear some reviews or, you know, if it showed up on a movie channel I had a subscription to, I'd be like, eh, let me see what it was about. Uh, so I'm kind of on it. So anyway, that's the videos for tonight. Um, smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Don't forget, I'm on BitChute and Rumble. Please subscribe there because Lord knows how much longer YouTube's going to last with everything that's going on. Please check out my books, and some of you have, and thank you for that. But you can find my books on Amazon, and links are in the description. Joan and I will see you tomorrow.